In today's video, I'll go through 11 health benefits of drinking cow leg tea, the dosages and precautions. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to achieve an optimal state of health within your mind and body with a little help from Mother Nature, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Cow leg is a small, flowering tree native to South American countries. It has several names it goes by, but is most commonly known in Brazil as pata de vaca, which literally translates to cow's foot due to the striking resemblance of the leaves to this part of a cow's anatomy. The leaves have been used extensively in the last 60 years in Brazilian herbal medicine for its medicinal properties and to alleviate symptoms of many ailments. Clinical studies on this plant have begun in 1929 in Brazil, followed by many others in the 80s, 90s and recent years. One study conducted in 2002 revealed that out of all the plants used as medicinal herbal remedy, cow's foot leaves rank as one of the top 20 most used in the world. Based on these studies and traditional uses in South America, here are the top 11 health benefits this plant has to offer. 1. Diabetes The most common and well-documented use of cow's foot is as an anti-diabetic treatment. From the first reports in 1929, pata de vaca stood out for its ability to lower blood sugar. Subsequent studies conducted on animals and humans confirmed its hypoglycemic effects, thanks to the phytochemical chemferritrin present in the leaves. In the mid-1980s, when herbal remedies were popular again, pata de vaca's continued use as a natural insulin substitute was reiterated in two Brazilian studies. Both studies reported hypoglycemic actions in various animal and human models. In 1999, a Chilean research revealed that pata de vaca was found to elicit remarkable hypoglycemic effects, reporting a decrease of blood glucose in diabetic rats by a whopping 39%. 2. Kidney health In addition to treating diabetes, one of the more traditional uses is to treat kidney and urinary disorders, particularly kidney stones. The flavonoid chemferritrin, present in cow's foot, has been reported to help relieve and prevent the formation of kidney stones, as well as repairing kidney cell damage. Thus, it creates a diuretic effect by increasing urination, which in turn cleanses the body. 3. Cholesterol Many of the studies reporting the benefits for diabetes have also reported improved cholesterol levels. According to a group research in 2004, cow leg not only lowers sugars, but it also reduces triglycerides and HDL cholesterol levels in diabetic rats. Besides, its potential to lower cholesterol is supported by its traditional use in many South American cultures. Therefore, it can be beneficial for those with bad cholesterol who are not necessarily diabetic. 4. Urinary Disorders Cow's food is also a diuretic for urinary disorders, including cystitis. This herb regulates and maintains the production and passage of urine, acting as a cure for polyuria. 5. Anticoagulant the anticoagulant properties of cow's foot reduce the formation of clots. It's also used to fight toxins and poison. These attributes make an effective remedy to treat snake bites. In a 2005 study, the leaf extract was shown to neutralize clotting activity from two species of pit vipers. When the extracts were exposed to human plasma, clotting time reduced significantly and the swelling caused by the poison was inhibited. 6. It's a blood cleanser and builds blood cells. 7. It promotes strength and boosts humidity. 8. It's used to expel worms from the intestine. 9. It's used in the prevention of colon and lung cancer. 10. It's extensively used to cure inflammation within the body. 11. It has an antioxidant effect. When used for medicinal purposes, typically the leaves are harvested to make an oral supplement or tea. However, it may have practical applications when applied topically. 
The leaves contain a well-known antibacterial chemical called astragalin, and the juice of the leaves is applied topically to treat abscess. Dosages To make your own tea, take 20 grams of dried leaves and combine with 4 cups of purified water. The mixture should be boiled for 20 minutes and strained. In South America, the tea is traditionally drunk after meals and often taken together with pedra humca. Tablets can be consumed daily as an alternative to the tea. The appropriate dose of pata de vaca depends on several factors such as the user's age, health and several other conditions. Multiple sources suggest using this treatment for a period of approximately two months to treat diabetes, although this treatment has not been approved by the US Food and Drug Administration. As always, do consult a doctor or a herbalist to advise on the dosages. Precautions If you are taking diabetic medication, please consult your healthcare practitioner before using pasta de vaca. Because of its hypoglycemic effects, taking cow's foot will potentiate anti-diabetic medications and cause your blood sugar to drop too low. If you have diabetes and wish to add cow leg to your treatment, the dose of your diabetes medication will likely need to change, so it's best to check with your healthcare provider before taking the leaf extract. If you're pregnant, breastfeeding or trying to fall pregnant, it's safer to avoid consuming this herb. If you're hypoglycemic, you should avoid it too, as it will lower your blood sugar even further. Keep in mind that cow's foot can also increase the risk of bleeding when taken in combination with other blood thinners. Are you a health nut? Join the health nut hour today, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification and I'll keep you updated on future videos. See you in the next one.